the mayor put this whole thing together in his response to the COVID-19 crisis and to call upon our executive director um, and our team here at the Port of LA to make Love LA a reality um, was a really big deal. It's a groundbreaking initiative designed to get critical PPE items to those that are helping render aid to COVID-19 patients. That unique role we had to play was that we had relationships on both sides. And we had the ability really to see what the supply chain looked like, areas that we could bring in addition to what the current apparatus had to offer, and then just honestly rolling up our sleeves every day and going to work with what people had asked us for and what they needed. So Love LA is a group of individuals here at the Harvard Department, all from different divisions, so we all have different specialized skills, and we're all just putting those to work. I wanted to be able to help in some capacity in getting supplies to our medical workers. I wasn't sure what to be prepared for, but uh, everybody knew uh, the goal. You know, everybody knew what needed to get done. I think the spirit behind Love LA was get it done, <laughs> whatever it takes. The team has been nothing short of inspiring and it's folks from all parts of this Harbor Department that are adding value every day. My specific role in Love LA is uh, reaching out to those who need donations. Webmaster. I reached out to hospitals and clinics to get information. The purchasing side. If there's a spreadsheet, I'm the guy working the spreadsheet. Collection of donations. The person that keeps the trains on the tracks. A lot of the hard work was set up by guys like Tim Clark and Danny Hughes with the warehousing that we do have at this port complex and trying to align it with the GSD principles and the manufacturer's delivery dates, it's just been a true work of art. Our relationships with City Hall uh, ran deep. Some of the ones that we needed to form, especially with General Services Department, those formed as the effort got underway and those have uh, worked out uh, beautifully. Within a week, we had the warehouse completely cleaned, had it secured, had the power on, had the water running, and had a facility up and, up and running. And there was a big shortage in the beginning, and there was a lot of fake equipment out there. At the beginning, it was very sad when you would hear about hospitals not having gowns and having to use garbage bags. The challenges for hospitals and PPE as the pandemic started were around availability of supply, price gouging, and, and counterfeit items as well. So in Love LA, we've taken all three of those issues very, very seriously. The folks who have chipped in to help us so far on the philanthropic side of Love LA, it's just been so heartening. Whether it was the Apple Corporation, shipping giant CMA, CGM, locally owned and operated Harbor Freight Tools, Toyota Motor Manufacturing, and our own Operation USA right here in Wilmington, plus so many more. Their ability and that spirit of giving is really what propelled us to the next level. The most gratifying experience with Love LA, I think, is seeing the big numbers of donations that we've been able to get and get out. It, it's just been so great to hear these hospitals and just be so thankful for the help that we've been able to provide. That all just kind of gelled together into what has delivered millions of pieces of PPE to area hospitals and skilled nursing facilities. When I first heard of Love LA's mission, I was kind of relieved in a way because it felt like we could be part of doing something positive. What has been rewarding, I feel every day is rewarding because I know every day we're working on something to help somebody out. To help, you know, our fellow Angelinos kind of protect themselves and keep essential services going and at the same time make sure that our health professionals had the quality PP that they needed. My son actually needed a hero, a local hero to interview that had something to do with COVID and so he ended up interviewing me. That made me feel proud. The thing I think I will take away from this is knowing that I was a part of something during this crisis that helped. That's where we saw the real spirit of Los Angeles dig in. And it's people who want to help their fellow human being, who want to be good citizens and do whatever they can for those who are in need and make sure that we stand taller than ever. That's my best memory. I love LA. 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 I love LA.